Hello everyone and welcome to Cell Explorer's fantastic DNA online workshop. My name is Alison and I'm one of the Cell Explorer scientists here at NUI Galway. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to extract DNA from a banana from some of the items you can find in your household. Today you have set up a laboratory in your kitchen and you are going to follow a procedure similar to one followed by any scientist. So what is DNA? And why do we want to extract it? Well, cells are the smallest unit of life, and every living thing, like plants, animals, and humans, contains cells. And there are trillions of cells in your body. There are different parts to a cell. A cell is like a water balloon, with an outside barrier called a membrane, and a liquid on the inside called cytoplasm. The nucleus is in the centre of the cell, and acts like the brain of the cell, and controls what the cell does. Within the nucleus, there is an important molecule called DNA, and DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Can everyone at home say that with me? Deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA is an instruction book for the cell, and contains instructions on how the cell can grow and make what it needs. DNA is found in every living thing, and contains instructions for that living thing. Do you know what that means? That your DNA contains the instructions to make you. DNA can determine how we look, such as how tall we are, our hair, eye, skin colour, even the shape of our face. A banana is a plant, which means that it's a living thing. And today, in your homemade laboratory, you are going to extract DNA from a banana. So every scientist needs some materials for their experiment. For this experiment, you will need some water, some soap, some salt, two glasses, some liquid non-gel hand sanitizer, about a quarter of a banana, a piece of kitchen roll or a J cloth, a piece of uncooked spaghetti or a toothpick, a fork and a teaspoon. Is everyone ready? To begin our experiment, first we're going to measure out approximately 100 millilitres of water in a glass and add one teaspoon of salt and stir for about 30 seconds until it's dissolved. So once all of the salt has been dissolved, next we're going to add um, one teaspoon of liquid soap and add that in and gently stir again for about another 30 seconds. So, this solution is prepared to help us isolate the banana cells and extract their DNA. The salt will help the DNA to clump together so we can see it later on, and the soap will break down the fats in the cell membrane so that the DNA can be released. So next we're going to take our slice of banana and place it into our other empty glass and mash it up with our fork until it looks like a paste. So just about a quarter of a banana into the glass. So once it's all mashed up, it should look like a paste. And next we're going to add our solution of salt, water and soap that we prepared in our previous step into the banana and mix for about 30 seconds. So 
Do you remember why we added this solution? We added the solution to help the DNA to clump together and to break down the fats in the cell membrane so that the DNA can help be released. So now we want to work with just the banana cells and remove the big clumps of banana. To do this, we're going to need to do a filtration step. So take your piece of kitchen roll or J-cloth and place it over the empty glass that contained your salt, water and soap solution. This will be our homemade filter. So now next, we're going to carefully pour our banana mixture through the kitchen roll into the bottom of the glass. This should take about two to three minutes, so keep topping it up like so. And then after the two to three minutes are up, hopefully you'll have collected some solution at the bottom. So you should end up with a clear solution like this. And we're now finished with our kitchen roll filter, so we can set this aside. You might have noticed that we can't yet see our DNA in our filtered solution. And this is because DNA is soluble in water, which means that it mixes really easily with water. So our next step is going to help us to see the banana DNA. In this step, we're going to add the hand sanitizer. And this contains ethanol, which is a type of alcohol which DNA cannot dissolve in allowing us to see our banana DNA. Do you remember the salt we added at the beginning of the experiment? It will help the DNA to clump together and later precipitate or come out of the solution after we add the hand sanitizer. This can be a tricky step, so please get an adult to help you when using the hand sanitizer. Please also make sure to remember to carefully read and follow the instructions on the bottle. We have identified this hand sanitizer as the best alternative to do the experiment at home. It works best because of the high ethanol concentration, more than 70%, and no gelling agents, as that would hide the DNA coming out of or precipitating from the solution at the end of the experiment. So we're going to carefully pour 25 milliliters of hand sanitizer down the side of the glass. And in this case, it's about a quarter of this bottle. So we'll pour it down the side of the glass at about a 45 degree angle and it should form a layer just above the banana mixture. So let's let this sit for about two minutes and let's observe what happens. So take a close look at your glass. Can you see the DNA yet? That stringy, bubbly material rising into the hand sanitizer, that's the actual banana DNA. You can take a piece of uncooked spaghetti or your toothpick and pick up and observe the DNA. So well done everyone, you have now extracted DNA from a banana just like any scientist would in a lab, but you managed to do it with some everyday items found in your home. Now that you have extracted DNA, you are a cell explorer. I hope you all enjoyed the experiment and thank you so much for participating.